On a weekend day, Father's Day like this, what's the enemy to going paddling versus the run or a bike ride or just watching the news? It is the schlep, you know, the loading of the canoe and getting everything ready. So I wanted to share with you one of my little hints and hacks is to go with a cover. And we now feature these on Happy Paddling and you can find them through dealers throughout the West. And they are uh, sized in a way that will fit, like in the case of this canoe, a 16 to an 18 and a half foot canoe or a 14 to 16 foot canoe. It can be snugged up. The bag that the cover comes in becomes a flag for safety, which you're required to have. And you can see we've got it all snugged up under here. It's got extra support straps, plus the straps of the vehicle. And I will just leave this boat on the car for probably the next month or two. I also really like that people don't really know what I have under there, which happens to be a North Star Black Light Northwind. They also make these covers for kayaks from all the way down from nine feet up to 20 feet. And in this case, I'm using actually a kayak cover on my solo racing canoe. That is like a 40, 50 year old uh, Kevlar canoe and something that I don't want to keep out in the sun. So I can leave my little fitness boat right up on the truck, all strapped tight. Two of my solo canoes just ready to go on a road trip. I've got both of them covered up. You can see one of the hints that I use is I cross strap the uh, straps. Those straps normally run from there to there and allow you to cinch the fabric up for a shorter canoe. So this is a 15 foot cover on a 13 and a half foot canoe. When I throw this up on the car, it's all nicely snugged and covered. Total UV resistance, water resistant. You do want breathability. And I keep uh, two solos just ready to go and wrap down there as well. The other thing I love about covers is when I'm loading them up and pulling them up side of trailers or even moving them around in the garage or the yard, the cover is going to take the abuse of dragging or any like bouncing, glancing impact versus the boat. And again, who knows what's underneath there? It's always nice to have a little mystery when you're going down the road versus people saying, look at that nice kayak. I'm going to take it. So once you figure out that it covers the way to go, keeps you paddling, then you need to get a dedicated little kayak rig and run it like your locker room for paddling. There's my little red truck with my trusty covered race canoe ready to go at any point in time. Last night at 8 30 the sun was setting and I just jumped in this car and I went for an hour and a half long paddle. I would have never done it if I didn't have the boat already loaded and ready to go. Happy paddling everybody!